Welcome everybody, welcome to this video. My name is Magnus Frampton. I teach social work at the University of Fechta. If you're watching this video, I bet it's because you're a student on our digital summer school module. So we're thinking about European and international social work together. And we've got contributions from something like 10 different countries. We're a lovely uh, mixed bunch. I think it's going to be great fun. And this is the first of the videos which I've put together for you in this course. How do you watch this video? My idea is that you watch it in your small groups. Now our platform, our video conferencing platform, Big Blue Button, is ideal for this. You can watch it simultaneously. I'll be asking questions in the video. I invite you to use the pause button, okay? And when I ask the question, discuss the question together. When you unpause, you'll find that sometimes I give an answer to the original question, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I ask you to hold on to your answers and we're gonna come back to these points when we meet up uh, live uh, in our sessions in the coming days. This is the first of two videos. I think a nice way to start this course is to think about our profession. What is our profession? And do we each have the same idea of our profession? The task is gonna be defining social work. I'm gonna be inviting you to come up with your own definitions of social work ad hoc, spontaneously, but I'll also be asking you to reflect, reflect on some well-known definitions which experts have put together. OK, so our big question is going to be, what is social work? And maybe it's fun if I ask a different question instead, first of all. So before I come to that big question, let's have a kind of warm up question here. What is a tree? There you are. I've got a nice picture to help you think about it. Discuss with your partners. What is a tree for you exactly? Pause here and discuss. Hey, unpause here. What did you come up with? I guess my point here is the idea of a tree that you came up with might be shaped by where you're from. OK, this is a, a German painting of a tree, which I think I saw for the first time in Berlin in the late 1990s. It's a romantic painting, must be something like 150 years old, and it's a, got in its centre an oak tree. So this northern German Prussian idea of a tree is typically an oak tree. And I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't the same elsewhere in Northern Europe. I'm sure Poles might also give the same answer. Brits do as well. The oak tree is a German symbol. You can even uh, find it on the, the copper coins that we have in the Eurozone. And it was also on the Pfennig coin before. It's worth noting, though, that my, my friends and family in southern Germany may pick a different tree. Um, in Bavaria, you may prefer to pick a pine tree. Again, the tree that you will find in, in the history of German painting. OK, now that's kind of interesting because my definition of a tree in northern Germany might have been a big wooden thing that loses its leaves in the winter. And my Bavarian friends would have picked an evergreen tree, which would therefore have a different definition. Now, you've got diversity within one European country. Once you leave Europe, you'll find even more diversity in what we think of as a tree. I found this lovely uh, painting. This is a Japanese image of women uh, surrounded by the blossoming cherry trees. Isn't that lovely? And again, in Japan, if you say tree, that may be the first association, the most common representation in culture or art. So this question of what is a tree is not so simple as we might think. Each one of us gives a slightly different answer depending on the tree which we locally see around us. OK, so hold on to that idea. So our topic today, what is social work? I think it's a tricky question. This is not so easy as it sounds. So we're going to be thinking about what social work is. Why? Why is this a difficult question to answer? I want you to natter with your, your partners. Why is this difficult? Why isn't it an easy question to answer? And you should be able to find a whole bunch of reasons. I'll give you some ideas in a minute. But first of all, discuss this together and see what you come up with. Pause here. And unpause here. What, what, what did you have in your list? of reasons 
for the difficulty of us pinning down this concept. I guess the first point on my list is social work is a relatively young profession. It tends to be quite easy to define older professions, medicine, for example, teaching, things that the ancient Greeks did, those are easier to define. Newer professions are by definition a bit harder to pin down. Social work's fields of practice are numerous and diverse. You might be working with children and families. In Germany, you might be doing youth work. You might be working in the prison system, okay? And the social work you're doing in those different settings really is quite different. Social work's aims are complex. You know, we talk about the caring professions and social work is a caring activity, uh, but it's also an activity that has controlling elements as well. So what we're trying to do isn't so simple as, say, helping somebody learn or helping somebody's body heal. Social work overlaps with other professions, as a Brit, I might say, other social care professions. In Germany, a nice example would be the profession of social pedagogy, which has just as rich a history as social work itself. So there's other helping activities which social work may overlap with uh, and may even include in some cases. The social work concepts which we use in our definition may not be translatable into other languages. One of the uh, examples I can give you here, in a minute I'll be giving you an example of a definition of social work which includes the word empowerment. Now this is tricky to translate into the German language. We've got translations but they're not especially good, they don't sound very authentic. So that's a problem, our, our definition is tied to our own mother tongue. Another point, what is social work? In a sense, I could say social work is that which you're trained to do. So I could look at your training as a source of a definition, but your training courses change all the time. Um, the, the courses we had when I was a kid in the 1970s are not the same as today, okay? So our own education is itself in flux. It's fluid, it's changing constantly. My last point here, social work is quite different in different countries. So I can sincerely give you a German answer because I'm German based, but that German definition may not be valid in your country. So there you are. My question is, is really worth asking, what is social work? This is a good thing for us to ask ourselves. It's not an obvious question with an obvious answer, but rather it can really make us think. And any good answer to that question, what is social work, is going to involve a lot of discussion, a lot of head scratching, a lot of debate. Uh, and some of the ideas in any definition will be contested. So it's hard to do. This is a hard thing to define. On the other hand, it's worth saying, you know, should we be making a definition of social work which works internationally? Is this a nice project to do? You know, is it worth us coming together and trying to bash out a mutual understanding of what social work is. So my next question for you to, to, to ask yourselves together, what arguments are there in favour of creating an internationally agreed definition of social work? This is a big project. Is it worth doing? Should we make the effort to come together and try to find an international consensus as to what social work is? So once again, guys, pause here and think about that question. I wonder what ideas you came up with. I can give you mine, um, which I, I came up with rather spontaneously here. What arguments are there in favour of us doing this work? The first point I have to make here is it can help the development and status of social work as a profession internationally. If we're taking ourselves seriously as a profession, a profession without borders, then we should be able to articulate what we are. So in a sense, it's helping to, to make social work develop. It's helping to promote social work as a global profession. It can help us communicate with each other. You know, some of the difficult concepts within our definition, you know, we have to articulate these, we have to pin them down. So it can really help us to actually develop our own language to describe what we do. So we're going to be uh, developing our own concepts in our definition. Uh, and that itself uh, is a valuable thing to do. 
It can help the profession to remind itself of its orientation, of its goals, of its values. If I define my profession, I remind myself what my profession is about. So let's move on. I want to ask you the next question. I want to ask you to define social work yourself. What is social work for you personally? Now, it's worth noting when you answer this question, we're going back to this tree idea, aren't we? You'll be defining social work as it is for you in your country. OK, so before I give you these official definitions, first of all, consider your own definition of social work. What has to go in? We're being spontaneous, we're being ad hoc here, but what kind of words, what kind of concepts are gonna be in your definition? So maybe worth grabbing a, a pen and paper here, just putting down a, a few words. Maybe do it separately with, from your friends, do it separately from your friends from other countries, uh, because it's actually quite nice to compare and you may find that you don't necessarily have consensus. Maybe you have differences in your national instincts to define social work. So write down a few words, jot down some ideas on paper and discuss it together with your partners. Pause here briefly for a moment and discuss that. Oh, before I come to a close for this first short video, maybe it's nice for me to note some of the definitions that I get from my own students. I teach in Germany, so I hear lots of German definitions of social work. And many of my German students may define social work as being help to self-help. That's a classic German definition, help to self-help. And the contrast, say, with Anglo-Saxon definitions of British or American definitions is really interesting because you may have the idea of helping or caring in Britain or America, but you may also have some of the protective duties that social workers have in those countries. So generally speaking, in the Anglo-Saxon countries, you tend to get more of a balance. And that's fascinating. You know, we ask ourselves, why do the Brits and the Americans think of protection? Why do the Germans think of this idea of helping to support self helping impulses. So that's kind of interesting. You could even think of, of, of explaining why you have those national differences in terms of how we see our social works. Hey, let's come to a close uh, for now. Here's my images. I'm going to say goodbye, but you'll find a part two of this video to watch together as well. Thanks for listening, guys.